Hey there, everybody. Happy 2021. Welcome to another new episode of Coffee with Chuck. We're excited to be jumping right into the new year with everything that it has to offer. Chuck, how are you doing? I'm good, Joe. Uh, good morning and uh, happy new year. Uh, this happy. is the first uh, episode of 2021 and uh, we've closed the books on 2020 and excited about 2021. Certainly excited to move forward into the new year. Although I am clinging to the holidays still in my choice of coffee for the day. Uh, this is the <laughs> <laughs> this is the holiday blend from Carborough Coffee Roasters uh, right here in Carborough. So um, it was actually it's actually a gift from our own Creighton Blackwell who uh, sent this to me ah. for, uh, for Christmas. So figured I'd feature it in a coffee with Chuck, and it's it's a great blend. It's you know everything you'd expect from a holiday blend, though. It's you know it's it's sweet, it's fruity, um, really good with breakfast. Well, what do you I have my uh, dependable Starbucks out of the Keurig, so it's good. <laughs> I'm I'm truly looking forward to the day where uh, it's a little easier to go out and shop and source local coffee without uh, having to you know put on full battle armor, brave the crowds and <laughs> viruses and things that are out there right now. So your hands um, are Yeah, yeah. No, I've just been real being really careful, and yeah, I mask up, but I don't go anywhere either. Yeah, me too. So, which leads right into our first topic. Um, obviously, COVID's been a hot topic since almost a year now, um, and we're continuing to deal with that internally at Coastal and, and do what's best for our employees and our members. You want to give a quick update as to where we are as of right now and, and maybe what the near future looks like? Sure. So, uh, we follow the, uh, all the data coming out of you know, the local triangle counties as well as the state. Pretty clear right now that COVID in the community is as much of a threat, if not more of a threat, than it's been any time since uh, it started last March. Of course, there's new variants out that people are worried about that spread faster. So uh, we're kind of in a pause mode right now with respect to particularly reopening branches, branch lobbies. You know, we continue to serve members through telephone, through video, through a variety of means, uh, but our lobbies are still closed. Uh, and we don't have uh, today a definitive date on when that they might reopen. As I've said all along, we're going to let uh, the facts and the risks, as we understand it, uh, drive those decisions. Our operating model for the last now 11 months has worked pretty well. So we, we're anxious to get them open, but we don't want to put employees or members at risk when we do that. So stay tuned for more information on when that might occur. Uh, with respect to the other things we did, all kinds of loan payment deferrals and fee waivers. Uh, the fee waivers will come to an end at the end of January. Uh, we know that many members are back on their feet. They're employed. Uh, the good news is uh, most of our members who got loan payment deferrals are now paying again. Uh, so that's good for them, good for us. Uh, so I think we've, we and our members, at least as we see it in the aggregate, weather the financial part of the COVID-19 pretty well. Uh, we still stand ready to help any member that's having financial hardship, uh, difficulty making loan payments and so forth, our member assistance program is still very much open, uh, open for business and uh, with the beefed up staff to handle calls and inquiries that come in from members. Then the final thing I'll mention, Congress has uh, in the last CARES, I don't know if it's CARES 3, CARES 4 Act, uh, has added more money for the pay Paycheck Protection Program for Small Businesses. Uh, that program's now live again. And at least for the near term, our business members can click on a banner at the top of Coastal 24, which will take them to a set of pages where they can find more information and apply for those loans. Uh, hopefully that's going to help sustain more small businesses until we can fully reopen, reopen our communities. To close on a high note, uh, we had a really good year last year in, in Given the circumstances, uh, we did have positive net income, which, as you know, is owned by all of our members. So financially, we had a pretty decent year. 
I think in keeping everyone safe, we had a great year. And in terms of meeting members' needs that were having uh, difficulty financially, I think we did incredibly well on that. So I would uh, I would give our performance in 2020 a, probably a grade A. And I would I would agree. Um, you know, obviously we had to do a lot from every different front, make sure that we were keeping employees safe and we were remaining operational and then still doing what was in the best interest of our members and our community. So so considering the mountain of challenges that were in front of us in 2020, we came through spectacularly well, um, which as a good transition leads into that, that benefits our members. And, and our members will, will receive a benefit um, from that again this year as we've done in years past. So uh, let's talk about loyalty bonus. It's a little <laughs> earlier than we normally talk about it, but um, uh, members, I'm sure, want to know what's what's going on with that. Uh, yep, that's an entirely good news story. Uh, we are paying out, I think this is our seventh or eighth straight loyalty bonus uh, after the end of the year. We'll pay it out on Valentine's Day again. A uh, total of $3.6 million will be paid out to approximately 69,000 members. 16% uh, of those are first timers, uh, which is always exciting uh, to see more members that are able to participate and take advantage of that. The byproduct of having a, a good year is it gives us the ability to take care of our members in this way to thank them for their business and support of Coastal. So we're pretty excited about being able to continue that program this year. A couple of other things that go with it, we're also opening a, a new member join promo for members who do get a loyalty bonus. Members who uh, will be receiving the loyalty bonus payout this year will receive a Valentine's card from us. Uh, with their payout information and the join promo information as well. And all of that uh, should be in your mailbox around uh, the payout date. You know, again, it's our success in 2020 and uh, in prior years is what enables us to uh, share uh, part of our success with members in this way. And so we're excited to be able to continue this program. Uh, certainly great news for our members. And um, I just wanted to reiterate for, for our members, um, part of the reason that we are telling them early is because, you know, as we've done in years past, we're paying this out on Valentine's Day, but it's a little unusual this year because the holiday falls on a Sunday. So um, be on the lookout for, if you're getting a, a loyalty bonus, be on the lookout for that email that Sunday morning and that deposit into your primary savings account that Sunday morning as well. Um, so we didn't want to, we didn't want it to be under the radar and also not be a complete surprise this year. So, um, certainly good news for our members and, you know, that's good news for coastal too. It means we, we had a, a pretty solid year. So Chuck, yes, that's about did. all the time we have for this episode. Any final thoughts before we wrap up? Yeah. Um, uh, we're certainly excited uh, for the day when COVID is behind us and we're back to whatever the new normal looks like. Uh, we're excited about 2021. Uh, members are taking out loans. We're financing a ton of mortgage loans. Uh, so 2021 shaping up to be another very uh, successful year for Coastal. And it all goes back to your support and the support we get from all of our members throughout the year. So we're open for business. Uh, we have great rates on both deposits and loans. So come check us out. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in. We hope you'll join us for the next episode and episodes after that. If you enjoyed this episode of Coffee with Chuck, be sure to hit that like button. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember to hit that little bell icon so you get notified anytime Coffee with Chuck or any of the videos that Coastal's producing is available for you to view. Uh, if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends and family. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again soon.